Greetings. Today's guest is a Selmer Paris Model 23 trumpet made in approximately 1950. I love Selmer Paris instruments. It's a shame they don't make trumpets anymore. It's interesting to see that in nearly a century of trumpet manufacturer, they maintain many common elements in the design, such as the distinctive water key. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. With that S there engraved. The interesting strut type braces that hold the instrument together. The distinctive finger hook, pinky hook, C-shaped. Things like the shape of the valve buttons, valve caps, things like that, were pretty much standard and the same throughout the whole history of Selmer Paris trumpet manufacture. Some very nice details, very aesthetically pleasing instrument. As I said, this is a Model 23. Some people mistakenly call these old Selmer Paris trumpets Grand Prix because of the words Grand Prix engraved on the bell. That just means grand prize, apparently in Geneva in 1927 and Liège, Belgium in 1930. Um, the model is determined by a number stamped on the, on the mouthpiece receiver. Hope you can see that. It's a 23 there. That's how you determine what the model is. Now, uh, some very cool features of this particular instrument and most of the Selmer instruments throughout their history. Nickel silver inner slides all around. You can see that. Slide tube is nickel. Nickel slide tubes. On the outside, the instrument is completely brass. There's no nickel trim as you would find on a box Stradivarius, for example. The lead pipe is also made of nickel. Something that I, they kept on doing even through the early years of manufacturing the radial two degree trumpet. There's a, uh, a video about that on this playlist if you'd like to check that out. You might be wondering what this thing is. Many times we see an adjustable stop on the third slide for those intonation adjustments for low D and C sharp, but here we've got one on the main tuning slide. That's because this trumpet is also meant to be played in the key of A, not just B flat. This was fairly common in the early part of the 20th century. You can often see old uh, band pieces, arrangements, um, compositions with parts for not only B-flat trumpet and B-flat cornet, but also trumpet and cornet and A. Also, to play music that's in difficult keys for the trumpet, if we put the instrument in A by moving the slides out, so this would just allow you to move your slide out to be able to play an A and then not have the slide actually fall out. Okay, and we can play instruments that uh, on the B flat trumpet or pieces rather on the B flat trumpet that would be difficult in difficult keys. We lower the pitch half a step and then we would have to transpose the part up a half step to be in pitch with the rest of the ensemble. We would also have to take out or move out the valve slides. So that line you see there the slides are beveled so that you can move them out, but they won't be so loose as to fall out of the instrument accidentally. And I think that's the reason that this third slide, which is also beveled here, um, has a water key and also a water dump, let's say. Uh, perhaps it, to play in the key of A, you could just move this water dump out and not have to worry about moving out the third slide, which would be kind of uncomfortable. And you might have to move out this third slide for 
those valve combinations D and C sharp, even though you were in the key of A. So I surmise that that's why that is made like that. Anyway, the model 23 is a medium bore horn. We'll just throw some measurements on the different models and bore sizes of Selmer trumpets throughout history. And you can see that much of the original lacquer is still present on the instrument. And over time, it's darkened to a very warm, bronzy tone, which is due to the fact that underneath the lacquer, the brass will tarnish over time. Also, the lacquer has a tendency to yellow over time. So a combination of those two factors gives you the color that it has now, more than 70 years after its birth. And it looks pretty good for a 73-year-old instrument. It also sounds pretty good. Um, we heard some of it during the intro. I recorded that using this very trumpet. And we're going to go down to the studio now and listen to it a little bit more closely. So there you have a brief sound sample of the instrument. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Head over to Bandcamp and pick up some music. And check out the other videos on the playlist. Take care.